Hi everyone, welcome back. Yet yeah, again, another bag of records this week from the boot sale. Um, it just doesn't stop. Every week there are stall holders selling records and they don't really want much money for them. So again, all these, pick these out at a pound each. I mean, look at that. Look, there's even a Pearl Jam, rec Pearl Jam record in there. So uh, let me take these indoors and show you what I've got. It's just, it's just awesome. I love it. Right, I'm back inside now, everyone. Thanks for tuning in yet again. Um, for everyone that's been subscribing, thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, if you want to leave a comment on about uh, any of my videos, or including this video, please do that. But uh, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't, because uh, all helps the channel. Okay, uh, first up from this week's Boot Sale Finds, uh, The Legend, The Best of Bob Marley and The Wailers. Pound record, VG Plus condition, the vinyl, gatefold sleeve. Covers probably VG. Um, I did not realise, but this one doesn't have a paper insert, so I need to do that. Get a paper insert for this one, but the uh, I do remember pulling it out, and it was VG plus. Well, I hope it is anyway. Uh, hope there's no hidden scratches. Um, next out of the bag from the boot sale today, uh, Abba the album. Um, this is a very common album, but for a pound, I thought I'd pick it up. I think I may well have a copy of it somewhere. I have to dig through my boxes, 1977, um, epic label, but uh, even if I don't keep this, I can probably trade it um, with another collector. Uh, paper, paper inner on this. So yeah, not bad for a pound. This is good for a pound. Uh, well, they're all good for a pound. This is uh, The Police. Um, uh, A&M Records, and I have no idea of the year because the cover doesn't say, and I can't remember, um, but it has the correct inner. Um, as I've started to tell people, because um, uh, there's a lot of comments on my channel sometimes about, oh, you don't know what you're talking about um, regarding these records. So uh, I grew up on hip hop. I didn't grow up on rock, pop, funk. Uh, punk and so on so um, my knowledge and a lot of these records is not uh, that great but listening to hip-hop I learned about breaks and samples and uh, funny enough this record has been sampled by a classic hip-hop record um, and uh, the the original is wicked and the way they use the sample is really good as well but um, anyway that's the police meatloaf bat out of hell LP um, Covers are not that great condition, really, probably VG. Epic label, 1977. As far as I know, that was a big selling album. Correct, correct inner sleeve. Um, yeah, Meatloaf. Let me know if you're into Meatloaf, if you've got that in your collection. Um, Eurythmics with a hype sticker. Quite nice condition, this one. Definitely a VG plus. Um, RCA label, 1985, quite a common LP, but uh, nice find. Uh, this is Phil Collins, but seriously, uh, this one's got a hype sticker. Uh, again, a bit dusty, Virgin record label. Correct, in a sleeve. Next out of the bag, Madonna, the first album. This has got a couple of. Uh, this has got a hype sticker here. Let me show you that. And it's also got an hour, hour price, six pound forty nine sticker, top right. Um, yeah, so uh, Madonna. Then we have Michael Jackson, bad. Gatefold sleeve, epic label, probably sold millions. Um, but worth the pound. This I used to see a lot and used to leave it. Um, this is um, born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen, with the correct inner. A little bit of rip on the cover there. CBS label, 1984. I think that sold loads and loads and loads. Um, next out of the bag is, what's this say? D Dan, D Danan. Selected jigs, reels, and songs. Not sure what that is, um, but it was a pound, so I have chanced my arm. Possibly folky rock. Uh, I guess Decca label, 1977. Do you know that? Any good? Um, yeah, Decca label. 
yeah let me know if you know that if it's any good of course I will listen to it so eventually I will know if it's any good um, Isaac Hayes to be continued again um, learn about this record uh, many years ago as I said growing up listening to hip-hop um, there is a track on here that has been highly sampled and it uh, created not only is it awesome on in its own right on the original LP but the way they use a sample in the hip-hop record is incredible um, very very clever in its own right but yeah it was sampled so that's how I came to know about this Isaac Hayes LP again really nice for a pound um, this I have no idea what it is but it's got a textured sleeve and um, I haven't seen it and it looked quite interesting so I thought I'd buy it for a pound um, Garen Loftow sleeve 1974 what does it actually say So, um, well, it's love, love Song by the sounds of it. Let's show you the label. Um, United Artists, Good News Records. Is it a compilation? Maybe it's a comp. Anyway, um, I thought I'd try it for a pound, see if there's anything on it I like. Sometimes on these uh, weird and wonderful LPs, you do find some like hidden treasures, some really good songs or really good uh, tunes. Okay, this one, surprised to get this, you very rarely see a Pearl Jam record. Um, this is called Go, I believe this one's a 12 inch. Um, <clears throat> epic label, what am I going to say, I don't know, what's the year? Could be 90, not sure. It's um, it's a 90s record, not sure it's 90, what, let's have a look. Epic label, uh, oh 93, so 90. 1993 paper insert Pearl Jam. I mean, very rare as you see a Pearl Jam record, so uh, pleased to get that for a pound. <clears throat> okay, uh, Cream of Eric Clapton covers a bit grubby on this one. Um, looks to have some mud on it from the boot sale still. Um, gatefold sleeve. Uh, Polydor Records 1987. I'm sure, I picked one of them up recently. I'll have to have a look through the stacks. Um, then we've got down to Earth by Rainbow. Interesting cover. Um, correct inner sleeve. Polydor, possibly 19, yeah, 1979. So quite a nice, quite a nice interesting cover on that. Um, cover's a little bit worn, but uh, all these records are VG Plus. Roxy Music, Flesh and Blood. Does show its face quite often. Ah. Oh. I've never seen that before. This sleeve for transit only. Can I show you that? That's a funny, funny terminology. This sleeve for transit only. What is that? Why would you put that on there? Are you travelling around with this one? So that's got like a, that's like a more modern inner sleeve. So someone might have rehoused that, but it does have the um, correct inner sleeve as well. So yeah, uh, 1980 that one. Okay, what else we got? Now I bought this because it looked really odd, and I, I've not I've not bought this or seen it before, so it just looked pretty pretty wild, as it said. Wild Wally, I go ape. Could be a load of junk for all I know. That's a pretty wild cover. Um, CBS Records. Yeah, I don't know if this is that's such an unusual cover and such an unusual label. Look at that. Don't think I've ever seen this before. Made in England, Wild Wally, um, I Go Ape, Concord Constance Constellation label. Don't know what that is. Um, could that be someone's holy grail or is it something that just needs to go down the rubbish tip? We shall see, give it a spin, you never know, might be something good on there. Okay, then we have America Live. Um, Warner Brothers, 1977. Correct dinner. Nothing much to say on that really. I have to give it a spin, have a listen. Okay, Daryl Hall and John Oates, Hall Oates on Atlantic. Someone paid one pound ninety nine for it. I paid a pound for it. Um, 1976. Again, it's the sort of thing I imagine once I hear it. I'll recognise some of the songs. Um, this one's got like a 
sort of lyric in a sheet and it's on the Atlantic label. Paper in her. Uh, again, Fiji Plus the vinyl. Actually, the sleeve on this, a little bit dusty, but there's like no real damage to the sleeve, so that's VG Plus as well. Uh, then Shooting Star, Elkie Brooks. Uh, a little bit of staining to the inner sleeve. That's the label. A and M. What year? 1978. Um, again, one pound. Would you buy these if they were offered to you for a pound? I'm sure you probably would. Pound's a nice price. Uh, this one, what does this one say? It's okay, this is called Pinball. Never seen this before, but it's very interesting. Um, pinball on the label. It looks like it's got some German writing down there, what seems to be German. Could be a German group. Um, do you know that? Is that any good? Is that a rarity? Is it a good album? And what genre is it? Can't really tell what genre that is. Not holding any instruments, so it wouldn't necessarily. It could be anything. It could be, could be funk. Could be rock. Could be soul. Could be punk. Could be pop. Could be junk. Right. Ted Nugent. Weekend Warriors. What's in here? With possibly the correct little lyric in a sheet. He's obviously a guitar player. Nice artwork on the front. Um, Epic label, 1978, so a bit older than I thought it was. Nice artwork though. Amazing how they did this artwork back then without all this clever graphics these days. Um, right, Steely Span, Steely Eye Span, Rocket Cottage. Um, Chrysalis label. Uh, can't see the year on the cover. Has the correct inner sleeve. Again, a bit dusty, needs to be wiped, but uh, pleased with that for a pound. Might have that one already, got a feeling of to have that. Um, don't know what this is. This is a bit older than uh, a bit of dust about to fall off it. This is um, a bit older than these other records. This is 1965. This is the Hillsiders play their country hits. So phew, this might be a country record. But it looked interesting, so um, and it's on Rex, the Rex label, which I've never seen before, so I gave it a try for a pound. Let's see if that's any good. Then we have got Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms, again. Um, I'm sure I picked up one of these a few weeks back. John Menzies, £5.29. Now, John Menzies was sort of a sweet shop, a news agent, and they did sell records. So it just shows you, records were available everywhere back in the day. And uh, although I haven't had any people moan for a while, a lot of people saying you can't find records like this at the boot sale. Well, look, WH Smith's boots, uh, R Price, Tower Records, you name it. There was record shops everywhere, loads of independents. These things sold thousands, they're out there. They're not just sitting in record shops, they're sitting in people's houses ready to come out at the boot sale. For me, week in, week out. Uh, picture disc, the cars, uh, there's a pound. I don't really see many picture discs and I don't wouldn't really aim to buy many picture discs, but uh, it's a pound, so going to have it. And weirdly enough, I think this came from the same person. They also had this picture disc, which is Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. I don't know why you'd have that and then the cars, because they're from probably from different eras, but uh, anyway. A couple of picture discs, pound each, can't go wrong. Um, I don't know what this is. Weird Al Yankovic in 3D. Ooh. Um, Scotty Brothers, available on cassette. Barcode stuck on, no, it's not printed. Um, US copy by the looks of it, US inner sleeve, thick carded sleeve, um, Los Angeles. I don't know what that is, gonna give it a spin. Could be a comedy record, who knows? Let me know. Okay, that is not a hype sticker, but this is the best of the doors. Includes the hit single, Riders on the Storm. Electra Records, uh, 1976. Quite a big group in America, I believe, the doors. Good for a pound. Then we have 
Rock of what? Rock of the what? What's that say? Rock of the Westies. Elton John. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Um, DJM Records, 1975. That must be the band. Elton John. Uh, printed in a, well, and like a lyric sheet as well. Not sure what Rock of the Westies means. Let me know. Let me know. I know you know. Then we have what's this called? Midnight Calf. Smoky Midnight Calf. Smoky Midnight Calf. Yeah, a lot of calves used to be smoky. Uh, EMI Records, 1976. Uh, I'm not sure what shop this was from, but can you see that? That says one pound ninety-five. So that was one pound ninety-five the day it came out. Um, yeah. That's smoky. And that's the bag. That's the bag empty. That's done. So that's today's boot sale finds. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you uh, on the next one.